So 2018 is coming to an end and a lot of exciting stuff happened this year. Since we're so close to 2019, I decided in this video, we would check some of the tools and assets for Unity that are worth mentioning, have been most helpful for people, and also nominated for Unity Awards. I'm gonna try to cover most of the assets that I've personally used this year, combined with assets that other people recommend online too. I'm sure there will be amazing ones that I missed to cover, unfortunately, so if you have your own favorites, make sure to leave a comment comment on this video with the name of the asset so you can also help other people out. And also before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to Flu Joey, Richard Stance, Coopla, Beard or Die, Make a Game, Couch Ferret, and Big Laid. Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make more videos. Now with that being said, buckle up because we're going to do a quick run through of all the assets. I'm also going to link them in the description by the way so you can easily check them out. Number 1, Time of Day by Andre Straubmayer. Time of Day is an asset to render real realistic dynamic sky domes with day and night cycle. It also supports weathers and clouds and allows you to change all of these settings in a single component. Time of day works out of the box in Unity so you can just literally simply drag and drop it into your scene as a prefab and it's gonna work. And moving on to number two we have Rock and Boulders 3 from Manufacturer K4. Rock and Boulders 3 is an asset pack with over 26 types of high quality boulders and stones. The shader that follows with these models allows you to edit every little detail on each boulder, such as how much moss it has on its surface. Every speed level design video you've seen on this channel, by the way, with rocks in it, they've all used rocks and boulders for the ground and cliffs from this pack. And number 3, Playmaker from Hutton Games. Playmaker is probably one of the most popular assets for visual scripting in Unity, which allows you to build games without coding. It's been used by famous games like Hearthstone, Inside, and Hollow Knight, and this tool is super easy to use with its intuitive UI and mainly targets designers and artists as those are the ones who normally lack programming. However, you can still use Playmaker as a programmer to like prototype and all that kind of stuff. And moving on to number 4, we have PBR Graveyard by Nature Manufacture. Now this pack contains a set of high quality models, actually over 2000 in quantity which is crazy, and can be used in different types of environments. Personally, I've used this in my level designs for building graveyards, lakes, and constructing towns, and so on, as it's been really easy to just add the models in and modify their shaders a little bit like the color properties. The models you'll find in this pack are also modular, PBR, sculpted, and photo scanned assets. And number 5, SSAA by Madgoat. I just took so many tries to get the name right. So SSAA stands for Super Sampling Anti-Aliasing. And this particular solution by Madgoat is probably my personal favorite that I've used thus far because it's super easy to set up. You just literally add a single component to your camera. In return, it greatly improves your game's visual fidelity. I use this asset for anything that I create in Unity to improve the anti-aliasing and I've been very satisfied with how well optimized it is. It makes my grass look richer and denser, the objects don't have those sharp pixelated edges anymore, and it also allows me to modify its settings very quickly through this one single component. And at number 6 we have Gaia by Procedural Worlds. Gaia is an artist friendly all-in-one terrain and scene generation system which allows you to create the stunning mobile, VR, and desktop environments in just literally minutes. Gaia is probably the most popular asset out there for generating terrains and scenes as it allows you to target specific biomes, add features to the generation such as villages, and it gives you the option to either go fully procedural or fully manual. You're in charge here. And at number 7 we have Ultimate FPS or UFPS as it's also called by Opsiv. UFPS is your ultimate solution for creating any first person shooter game. It's a professional deterministic character controller designed to include the smoothest first person control and to excel in all areas, including PC, mobile, console, AI, networking, and also VR. This is one of the most flexible assets that I've ever used, and it's really easy to modify its settings to suit the character controller to your needs. So let's move on to number 8 and take a look at Polygon Nature Pack by Synthi Studios. Synthi Studios probably has some of the assets that I'm in deepest love with personally speaking, and I've been using the Nature Pack from their Polygon series as well, the most for my low poly forest environments. This is basically a low poly asset pack of trees, plants, terrain, 
plane, rocks, props, and effects to add to your existing polygon style games. I also strongly suggest you all to check out the other asset packs that Synthi Studios have because they're absolutely incredible. And if you're making a low poly style game, I strongly suggest you to check them out as they've got some really cool stuff. And at number 9, we have Mesh Effects by Crypto289. This is a pack that contains 21 effects for your meshes. That means these are high quality visual effects for your game objects to make use of. For instance, there is a fire particle if you want to turn your boring sword into like a fiery dragon slaying sword. Or you can be a very nice knight and have butterflies fly out of your sword. Ho hold on, actually, are those butterflies? Oh my god, that's so cute. These effects are all also drop dragons. <laughs> I can't say it. These are all drag and drop, so you just have to drag the prefab into your scene onto your game object and it will automatically work. And now, number 10, Easy Roads 3D by Andesoft. Easy Roads 3D allows you to create unique road networks directly in Unity with both built-in and imported mesh-based crossing prefabs on your own models. You can bring your scenes alive with additional side objects like bridges, guardrails, fences, walls, power lines, tree lines, or any other type of geometry following a path. I love this one because you can also tell the tool to automatically bend your roads to fit the terrain height points, which is really awesome. And in a more proper language, it's actually called conforming, so your road actually conforms to the height points of your terrain. English lessons with Saiku. And moving on to number 11, we have RAM or River Auto Material by Nature Manufacture. RAM gives you the ability to create very advanced river and lakes with flow map automatically. The shader generates casket types by the slope of your mesh. So you simply drag and drop the river material onto your mesh or you could create it by using the spline tool with profile system and it will generate the stream for you. And moving on to number 12, we have Realistic FPS Hands by Knife Entertainment. This pack can contains realistic FPS hands for your games. <laughs> I mean, what else am I supposed to say about this? Dang it, the name is a huge spoiler. What I like about this pack though is the, the most at least, is the fact that these are probably the most realistic and natural looking hands and arms in the Unity Asset Store right now. I've been using these for some level designs for a little bit while ago actually, and they've been working really well. So let's jump on to number 13 where we have Desktop Ground Coverage by Speedtree. This is my favorite 3D grass model pack in the asset store right now which is why I wanted to include this as they're very good looking and have incredible wind support in their shader. I've been using this for so long now in nearly all of my speed level designs since ever since I discovered this asset. Speedtree also has a pack for just the regular grass but I like this pack more as it contains more than just a grass patch. It's got these like corns and all that kind of stuff so I think it's really cool. And number 14. Stylize Nature Pack by Mikael Gustafsson. I was looking forward to this because he's Swedish. So this is a high quality nature pack for your stylized games. You, you also get a tutorial and a demo scene for demonstration on how to use the assets in this pack. And I've used this one for my speed level designs where I made a stylized level. And I've been very happy with the fact that each model is optimized enough to not reduce the performance of your game. So if you're working on a mobile game, I think it's not gonna be a problem. And the models also look incredible on top of that. So for stylized games, I think this is my favorite so far. And number 15, we have All Sky by RPG Whitelock. All Sky is a full palette of uh, palette, uh, really. I gave a talk for just a couple months ago on tile map palettes. I should know the pronunciation of this. So All Sky <laughs> is a full palette of 160 skies for Unity. It includes various styles such as day, night, cartoon, fantasy, hazy, epic, space, sunless, and moonless. You get lighting from day to night, including twilight, sunset, multiple times of day, multiple times of night also, and sky glow. There are also many weather and cloud types like clear, overcast, summary, and so on. So all in all, this pack is a set of 160 sky boxes, each with example lighting setup scene. I've been using those scenes and these actually the lighting settings in there, and I've been very satisfied with them because it's a super good inspiration source for creating something similar. And moving on to number 16, we have Stronghold by Nature Manufacture. This pack contains a set of medieval style models that you can use to build a fortress or a city from the Middle Ages. 
I personally like the quality of these assets and I've been able to use some in my last level design actually video on the channel, which I'm going to link in the descriptions so for just a little bit of promotion, but you get access to 146 prefabs, including buildings, fortifications, fences, wooden constructions, and more. On top of that, you also get access to 50 types of flora and 19 sets of photo scanned rocks. And now for number 17, we have Epic Mountains Pack from SVC Host 74. This is a very nice pack with mountains you can use for your games. It includes two scenes with two kilometers by two kilometers game ready terrains, custom terrain shader with parallax and snow regulation, 11 prefabs of 3D mountains with snow and grass using 4k textures which is insane, 19 prefabs of forest stones and 22 forest stumps using photogrammetry. You also get access to terrain texture maps, including normal color height splat, and also high res ground textures, particles of winds and birds, and some grass textures on top of that. I mean, really, all in all, this is like a complete pack for any kind of nature scene you're trying to build. I really liked using the mountains for my level designs, and I'm gonna keep using them because they are very high quality, and that's exactly what I need for my scenes. We're getting close to the end, so we're just gonna jump on to number 18, where we have environment of Sky and Weather by Hendrik Haupt. Enviro is an asset pack that contains a high quality sky dome you can use in your games. If you don't want to go with the sky boxes and want to make use of a more dynamic sky dome with clouds, time of day built in, and many more settings to play with including weather, I'd suggest you to check this one out. And at number 19, we have Asset Hunter 2 by Herika Games. Now, this is a very cool tool because you can use this one in Unity to clean up your project from assets you don't use. If you've also had these massive projects with like insane file size, you'll know that build times and such can be very badly affected. So using this tool, it will show you the assets that aren't used in your projects and allow you to delete them so you can make up some space. And for number 20, we have SSAO Pro by Thomas Hordell. Now, SSAO Pro offers a high quality, stable, and fast version of SSAO or screen space ambient occlusion for Unity with added features like light contribution, distance cutoff with smooth falloff and occlusion color. I'm using this asset for mostly for like adding shadows and realistic shadows to my grass for the most part, but obviously ambient occlusion is very useful for adding edge shadows to your objects and stuff like that. So it, it basically improves the visual fidelity of your games. And I figured this one is very well optimized so I just kept using this one over the others. And moving on to number 21 we have Arquis Pro Interior Volume 6 by Arquis Pro or Aneros. This is a pack of high quality interior models and some exterior assets for a house. In fact I made a Unity graphics video using this pack because it looks so good so it, it kind of speaks for itself but basically you get more than 200 prefabs and the entire demo is also VR friendly. So if you're gonna wanna create something related to VR, you should probably check this out because the demo is super useful. And now finally, number 22. RPG Medieval Kingdom Kit by Befio. Medieval Kingdom is a next generation PBR 3D modular art package which contains 900 fully customizable prefabs to create your own RPG or RTS game with first person or top down view. This pack gives you an infinite possibilities or infinite number of possibilities to randomize each building, map, and element using models and shaders that blend with each other using color masks. Now this pack also works with the lightweight render pipeline in Unity, which a lot of the packs on the asset store right now aren't really like upgraded enough to actually fit the, the new render pipeline. So it's actually a very good bonus in case that's something you're aiming for. So I think that does it. That's 2018 for you. Uh, it feels good to have it done. So <laughs> those should be some of the best assets for of 2018 for Unity. Uh, do you think I missed out on something? Let me know in the comments and tell us which asset is your favorite of this year because I'm really interested to see it. and maybe it can also be useful for some of my level designs and other videos in 2019. And speaking of 2019, if you guys want to see more videos like this one in the new year, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you stay up to tune. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon too because YouTube just implemented that apparently so you get notified on each video. Otherwise, sometimes it doesn't send a notification to subscribers which is super weird. So thank you YouTube so much for helping us grow our channels. Um, Sam, I actually did not get a notification for your latest video.
So where is your content, you lazy piece of shit? Oh, you think it's me? You... I swear to God, every time I read a comment like that, a little bit of me just dies in the inside. You know that feeling? Like you literally know you're dying. That's me. But hey, we at least have a Discord server with over 9,000 members. <laughs> I'm just promoting everything at this point. But hey, I don't care. Yes, you heard it correct. It's over 9,000 at this point, And we're all like-minded game developers who like to chat, meme, share our projects, complain on YouTube, share tips and tricks for Unity, promote our own content, and so on. So make sure to join using the link in the description or by going to the link on screen right now. Also, if you do join, don't be shocked to see that a lot of people are trying to get me to dab in a video, which is super weird. I'm like, I'm making tutorials for Unity and you guys are trying to make me dab. I love this community so much. I love you guys so much. So I may be dabbing for 100k subs. Uh, it's not happening. I'm just kidding, actually. I'm gonna break my own arms if I do that. So let's not break my arms. But now with that being said, I'm gonna be super active in the comment section of this video and in our Discord server. So I'm looking forward to see you guys there and see which assets were your favorites in 2018. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out, guys. How do we fall?